Hey everybody, Tim again, Tim's Computer Repair. Got a desktop that came in, custom built by a young man, nice young man. Very interesting story. This is an AMD build here. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Got a GeForce GTX card here. I'm really not sure at the moment what what card that is actually an AMD processor I think I mentioned that looks like we got the Wraith, Wraith Stealth cooler on here anyway this gentleman uh, decided he wanted to upgrade his desktop he wanted to up, upgrade his processor and his memory after the upgrade he says he got no post so what he brought in, I told him to bring in everything he had that would help me. The new RAM, old RAM, old processor or whatever. And uh, so let me show you what he brought me. First he brought me, first he brought me the, this is the, the new RAM here that he had in the case. I told him to try to put the old RAM back in to see if it got a post before he brought it to me and it did not, which is concerning. Okay, but here's what's even more concerning. In this box is the old processor. Again, I, I can't remember, or I don't know what, what processors these are. I'm gonna look at that here in a minute. But this is what the old processor uh, that he took out is in in this box and if you have a look down in here oh my goodness so that to me looks like the bottom of the processor the old processor and that is still stuck to the heat sink which means he ripped that processor out of the socket. Yep, it's still stuck to it, not budging. So he ripped the processor out of the socket, the old processor, and he put the new processor in and he's not getting a post which is very concerning to me because I am wondering in what way did he install the new processor? Because he saw the old processor come out like that. I am so worried about what I'm going to find when I remove this heat sink and examine that processor. I'm not even going to attempt to power it on. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope I'm wrong, but we are gonna have a look now. All right. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the video card because I just wanna have room to have a better visual on everything. Okay, so we'll just remove the card. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's see. Nice and easy. This card says Strix GTX. Ah, it's a 1650 Super, is what this is. He's got one stick of RAM, I see. Uh, funny. Well, let me show you guys this. Two things that I see here. Just by visually inspecting. Okay, first of all, it looks like his heat sink is, is on here properly. The lever is the right way, I believe. Right? One thing that I'm noticing... I don't know if you can see this right here that 
it's not locked into place there are copper or gold pins showing on that side of the ram and actually to be honest with you it doesn't look like it's even seated all the way down here so it doesn't look like in this particular case that his ram is seated all the way but here's something else that really jumps out at me look really close at the CPU power pins there does something not look right they are supposed to be lined up evenly this one is crooked and if you look even closer it's not seated in the socket it's only halfway in if you see that huh don't know how that's going to do I'm going to fix that we're going to get that right and I'm going to get his RAM seated right but I am not going to put any power to this until I remove this heat sink and examine what the install of the processor looks like I'm hoping and praying that he installed it properly and there's no issues because he certainly didn't uh, deinstall the old processor properly that's for sure okay let's proceed I'm taking this heat sink off Wiggle it back and forth. Don't put, just lift it up nice and slowly. Let's go ahead and unplug that. Go ahead and unplug this. There's this processor, so. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that processor and inspect it well looking at it closely thank goodness it looks like that there is no bent pins so it looks like the young man installed the processor properly. We'll put that back in there, lock it back into place. Very good. Very, very good. So while I have room here, let's go ahead. I'm going to correct this problem. That is terrible. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We'll get that put in there correctly. And we'll get his RAM put in there correctly. We will reinstall the heat sink and uh, should be, hope that we can get it to post. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can correct this little issue here. That, that's crazy. That is just crazy. Actually, you know what? my bad there's only there's only one connector he just got the two together but there's only one cpu connector here one so nothing wrong with that okay i viewed that wrong after further inspection there's only one connector he just got both of them together to where it looks like there's two so we're good there very good here let's just I'm just going to pop out. This RAM wasn't even in there. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put his heat seat back on. And then we'll pop in his two sticks of RAM. Hopefully it was just a simple fact that he didn't have his RAM seated all the way. Wouldn't that be something? But you know, I have to check. I have to check. You have to check things like that, man. 
So good for him. He had everything. He had that installed right. Good man. USBs all he wanted plugged in for his Wraith his Prism cooler. We'll plug that in. His so everything's plugged in. So let's go ahead and put in his two sticks of RAM. Click, click. That's what we want to hear. Click, click. Everything is in there nicely. Reinstall his video card. And I didn't even look to see what processor he had in there. That's still the original thermal paste. It never fired up, so you can keep the same thermal paste on there. That's plugged in. All right, I want to slide this over this way. We're going to try to get this to boot. See, I feel a lot better now knowing, okay, the power is plugged in right. The processor is inserted properly, installed properly, and everything else. Now, I know the RAM is, so now I feel okay about giving this power. Hopefully we get a post, right? If we do, well, this means he probably didn't have his uh, RAM seated properly, and that's all this ends up being. All right. And give us a little uh, HDMI action. And uh, power here. Okay. I'm going to power this on and let's see what we get. There's a power button. Okay, got some lights. It's trying to do something. Up and down, up and down, that's normal. Revving up, revving down. It's doing it again. That stopped. That kicks back on. That's fairly normal. Let's see. Come on, give us a post. Yeah! See there? Good to go. He's got a post. He's got a post. Well, I thought he did. Uh oh. Let's see what it does here. It's trying to post. There we go. Let's see what this does. Waiting. Okay. He's loading windows. There you go. So, wow, wasn't this something? So basically, you can see how they come in sometimes into my shop, and you can see why I would be dead nervous about what he brought in. How about that? You know, when, when, you, get, when you get brought this, and they're saying that they replaced the processor themselves. I mean, first instinct is like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine how that's installed. Luckily, you saw the cautious steps that I took. I didn't immediately just try to power it on, which is what you should do in this situation is be sure everything is seated properly, even the processor in this particular situation. But it, all it turned out being, in my opinion, was he didn't have his RAM seated properly. I thought that that process that a CPU pin wasn't plugged in right, but there there is no uh, plug for that to plug into. So it was just a looks. Looks can be deceiving sometimes. Upon further investigation, that is plugged in correctly. 
His RAM works, video card works, obviously his drive works. That's it. He's got post. He's going to be happy. And like I say, in my opinion, he just didn't have his RAM seated properly. There you go. I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Until next time, have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.